Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RCCW Battleground. As always, I am your host, Rick C, and today we have a very special match for you coming up right now. It's going to be the tag team debut of Legend, wait for it, Dairy, Legendary versus the Gatekeepers. Now, how this match came about, and it will be, by the way, for the RCCW Avalanche Multiplayer Championships. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Rick, how on earth did this match come about? Well, allow me to explain how this match came about. You see, Matt Castle originally was one half of the Avalanche Multiplayer Championship Forks. However, Pete Corvus and Lincoln Loud conspired against Matt Castle, got getting him fired from RCCW. Oh. Look at this theme. I mean, this introduction. They're going all out with the introduction. <laughs> nice theme. But nonetheless, they got they conspired against Matt Castle, got him fired, and that would lead to controversy. Of who would be the Avalanche Multiplayer Champion? His replacement. It will lead people to have a partner. Our Richard D. Corbett selected Lincoln Loud to be his partner. But these two, J.D. Evans and Joe Wolf, they objected to that. They said since they were the partners of Matt Castle originally in the King's Keys to Chaos, that they should be the ones to take his place. Originally, the anonymous general manager vied for a triple threat. However, complaints by all three, all four of the men decide who made it. She finally made her decision. He changed her decision. She said, all right, you both will be able to tag with your respective partners, the partners you actually want. The catch is this. The Avalanche. Okay, so Pete Corbis would be defending both the championships. He and Link, if Lincoln and him win this match, Lincoln will take Matt Castle's title. But if Legendary win this champ win this match, then Pete Corvus, the Valley with a vacated title, will go to them, but Pete Corvus' title will go to them, and they will be the new Avalanche multiplayer champions. So it's all it's all or nothing here tonight, folks. There's no just replace Pete Corvus. Either Link Loud and Pete Corvus win and Lincoln takes the title, or Legendary take both championships. And you can hear that come here come the gatekeepers and Oh come on! You gotta be no, they're not the Avalanche multiplayer champions. Lincoln Loud apparently has decided to come out with the Avalanche multiplayer championship. Lincoln Loud coming out here, strutting around with the Avalanche multiplayer championship, even though he is not yet the official champion. He is not yet the champion. However, if he were to win this match alongside Pete Corvus, he will be the official champion. But like I said, if all if these two fail to become victorious here tonight, then the legendary will win the Avalanche multiplayer championships for themselves. And not only that, but as far as I know, their alliance with Bruiser Bonifer is not finished. They are still allied with Bruiser Bonifer. So that would technically make all three of them belt holders in RCCW. Bonifer the diehard champion and Legendary, the Avalanche multiplayer champions. Now you can see the belt. The belt. The Avalanche multiplayer champions. And there you can see there. There's the beautiful JoJo. Here you can see Legendary. Legendary. Jay the Key Evans and Joe Wolf. Here tonight look to be look to solidify their reunion. By becoming Avalanche multiplayer champions. However, what stands in their way are those two right there. After we look at the beautiful JoJo. Those two right there. Pete Corvus and Lincoln Loud. Those two strive to become Avalanche multiplayer champions. Well, Lincoln become, plans to become the official replacement of Matt Castle. By winning this match. Pete Corvus is, looks to keep his championship and give Lincoln, his best friend, a championship here. Lincoln Loud surprisingly has yet to win a championship, but basically he's been denying any opportunity he's been offered because 
he says he only wants to get to the World Heavyweight Championship. That's his, basically his goal in the year of Lao is basically become World Heavyweight Champion. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. J.D.K. Evans and Lincoln starting us off. The bell is rung. Steve Patrick rings the bell, and here we go. Lincoln Loud and Jay Evans tying up in the middle of the ring. Headlocked by Jay the Key. Lincoln Loud backing Jay up. Up against the ropes. Off the ropes goes Jay. Lincoln leapfrog. Lincoln Loud ducks under. And oh, ooh, a little clash, a crash course collision there. But not nothing too drastic. Ooh. Um, grounded headlock there. And Jay with a punch in the head. Jay the Key Evans has yet to hold any official gold here in RCCW alongside Joe Wolf. Now, despite that, the U Director Beers Harry Championship is not an official championship of RCCW. It's just defended here or not. Whoa, a German suplex from Jay the Key. And uh oh, Jay swaps it over Lincoln, goes for a textbook suplex there by the Key. Jay the Key now looks to take advantage. I'll hold up here, Lincoln with a fireman's carry takedown to Jay. And off the ropes goes Lincoln. Leaping Larry, no, a sling blade. A sling blade by the key. Key paying an homage to his old deep, the ice demon days. And oh, ouch. Bicycle knee strike there. Joe Wolf trying to reach out to his partner, but it's to no avail. And hold oh, Lincoln. Look at, look at here. Oh, a slam. It's Lincoln lifting Jay up much more. To get more leverage on Jay, to get him higher up for more impact. Jay with a Lincoln went for a flying kick there, but it all but it failed and Lincoln look at this punch in the face and a big knee to the head. Lincoln Loud's greatest asset has got to be his knees. That deadly Krakatoa eruption and the L trigger, which he has dubbed his ripcord knee and all. Oh, tag up to Joe Wolf. Butterfly DDT, the, the key, look at this, propels Lincoln Loud, wheelbarrow suplex by millionaire Joe Wolf. And Lincoln leaps forward, lunges at P. Corvus for the tag, and here we go, Lariat by P. Corvus. Went for a, oh, what, I don't know what he was going for there, Joe Wolf with a neck breaker. <coughs> An inverted neck breaker there by Joe Wolf. And Joe Wolf now going up to the middle rope. Body splash, no, it is a counter. And P. Corvus now, oh, for a harsh forearm to the head. And look for a snap headbutt, but no, it was reversed. And look at this, oh, a forward Russian leg, an inverted Russian leg sweep, I believe. A forward Russian leg sweep. Joe will point for the kick, but no, it is evaded. Clothesline, no. Off the ropes, P. Corvus, oh, takes Joe out at the knee. Takes him out at the shin. Kicks him. Directly in that shin takes Joe off his feet. Kick to the gut and Pete Corvus. Oh, look at this. Butterfly lung blower. Shades of Liam Malone. He's the only person I know who either does or used to do that. He would dub that the Eagles landing. But that wouldn't but it's a more of a transitional move for Pete Corvus. And look at this. Backbreaker. Into the neckbreaker. Shades of the Miz. Excuse me. Of a maneuver like that. Hold up here, Pete Corvus. Whatever Joe was playing for was countered by Corvus. And Corvus now lifting up Joe Wolf. Super kick by Corvus. Taking Joe off his feet. And Corvus whipped into the corner. And what's Pete look to do here? Headlock punch right to the forehead. And this Pete Corvus as arrogant as ever. Oh, discus elbow. No! No discus elbow there. Joe Wolf. Oh, countered punch. And Joe Wolf with a Superman punch there. Joe Wolf with that Superman punch. That is signature Joe Wolf. And now he's going to look for the the headlock driver, but no, it is countered. Pete Corvus, Jawjacker, went for the elbow again. No, Joe Wolf able to counter the elbow once again. And hold up here, Joe Wolf looking for something. What's he going to got? Oh, he the gut there. And finally, he hits it. Discus elbow. Oh, and I think uh, Joe Wolf. Joe Wolf is busted open. He's bleeding that strawberry jam. Tag up to Lincoln Loud. Here we go. Our hold up here. Sweet and sour. Shades of an old shades of the old tag team Trevor Murdoch and Lance Cade. Some may not remember them, but they were they were old. Oh, hold up here. This is not gonna help that cut. L trigger. The L trigger knee. One, 
two. No, Joe will hit with a kick at it too. What a save by Lit. What a what a resilient kick out there by Joe Wolf. Low kick there from Joe Wolf. Joe and Lincoln about are about the same size, about five foot, uh, around the five foot range. Both are cruiserweights. Joe with a stomp to the arm there, and Joe with a stomp once again. And now Joe Wolf lifting up Lincoln, punch, no counter, elbow by Lincoln Loud. Lick it off the ropes here. Clothesline. What a lariat by Loud. The year of Lincoln Loud may start off on a good on a good one here in RCCW. We know last time we saw Lincoln Loud on the channel, he screwed 2TM out of the Universal Championship and helped Christian cash in money in the bank. And he declared this was going to be the year of Lincoln Loud. And over in the WWE, Lincoln Loud will be facing Jinder Mahal at the Royal Rumble. He declared himself number one contender. Big knee once again to the jaw of Joe Wolf. And Joe Wolf lunges forward and tags in the key. And Lincoln tags in Corvus. But here we go. Clothesline by the key. Leaping clothesline by the key. The key is on fire here. The key is going is on a roll here. Because he got more. Mushroom stomp. The key with the mushroom stomp, and now Jay the key could be looking for Jay's way. Here we go, Jay's way. No, swatted off like a bug. Rolling, no, one for the rolling elbow, but again it is countered. And now the key setting him up. Perfect flex there by the key. I thought he was going to go for a pin there, but he did not. Psyched us out on the, the pin attempt there, and now the key. On the apron, looking to springboard. That's the key. See that your style. He loves to fly. Drop kick there by the key. Oh, and now the key is getting hyped up. Time to initiate the key fuel. Look at La. I'm sorry. Jay the Key Evans could look to initiate key fuel. Ignition. Gonna turn on the ignition. The key. Picking up P. Corvus here. It's going for a chop, but no. And now the key. Irish whips into the corner. High knee and oh, Steve Patrick's down! Steve Patrick is Jadunzo. And oh, went for the mushroom stop, but he, he uh, undershot, and there's a vicious elbow taking the key right down. It was like to the side of the head. And the key now. Irish whip into the corner. And now Pete Corvus. I thought he was going to attack up Lincoln there, but oh, come on. Gonna scrape the face. And looking gonna move aside for this one. Blow! Big boot right to the face of the key. That was not a pretty sight. The way his head just torqued to the side. Telling him you're done. Elbow drop there from the middle rope. And now Pete Corvus looks to try to finish the match. But ooh, the, oh, Joe Wolf. Pele kick there. Stopping. P. Corvus from taking him off the apron. P. Corvus clearly getting frustrated. Yeah, I thought all these guys were allies at one point, but I guess the Matt Castle incident has let well more of the, the controversy with the titles has led them to defect from one another. Elbow there to Joe Wolf off the apron, and oh no, not on the concrete floor. Jay overshoots the drop kick. <gasps> oh my goodness! Package pile driver onto the concrete floor and a neck breaker. From Jay the Key Evans and Lincoln Loud getting in the ring. Let's see. Holy crap! Whoa! What a maneuver! A barrel roll to Atomico! A barrel roll suicide dive! Lincoln Loud putting his life on the line just to get his friend the advantage in this match where a count of six. Gee, I don't, I don't know what the rule is. If it's a count out victory, is it a, if it's a count out victory, I think that could be. Oh no. And what's up with Jay's arm? Oh my god, Jay. That, get your arm out of that position, dude. And oh no. And now these two face it off. Jay the Key Evans back. Went, uh, what was he going for there? I'm not too sure, but it was something. And now Pete Corvus, Irish whip into the corner. I thought maybe he. If he I think maybe he didn't. He was intending to go for the gate crasher. That was the finishing maneuver of the gatekeepers. But I guess he's going to have to think of an alternative. And I think he's got that alternative in the form of Corvus.
Corvus Control! Corvus Control by Feet Corvus. One, two, we're gonna have champions, no! We're gonna have, I thought we had a new champion in the form of Lincoln Loud there. I thought the gatekeepers would retain the championship, but it is, it is for not. Oh, and there's the elbow strike. A hard elbow strike by the, by one half of the gatekeepers. And now Joe Wolf is the prime target of Corvus kick to the gut. Corvus setting him up. Corvus control on the outside. And now tag to Lincoln Loud. And now Lincoln Loud. Said, oh, I thought he was gonna set up Jay for something. Maybe he's gonna go for the um the gate crasher. And, uh oh. Jay yelling, Key Fuel! Jay the Key Evans calling for... He's gonna call for... Oh, he's gonna turn on the ignition. Jay looks to turn on the ignition. Joe Wolf recovering from the Corvus control. Went for an axe handle. But wait a minute, Lincoln Loud! He's got him up on the shoulders. Caught Jay off guard! Sound of silence! Lincoln Loud with the sound of silence! Pete Corvus gets a Pele kick from Joe Wolf. The cover, Joe Wolf. He's got to be dazed. One, two. Joe did we? No, he didn't. That's it. The gatekeepers. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Wolf just missed by an inch for bringing up that pin, and that means the gatekeepers are officially the RCCW Avalanche Multiplayer Champions. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Both these teams gave it all they had. But in the end, the gatekeepers come out on top. And this means Lincoln Loud has won his first championship in RCCW. Ain't that interesting? But nonetheless, Lincoln Loud starts off the self-professed year of Loud on a high note. As he and Pete Corvus have won the Avalanche Multiplayer Championships. Congratulations to the gatekeepers. But something tells me Legendary are far from finished with those championships. This is Rick C signing off. Thank you for joining us for this championship encounter. We hope to see you very soon on, on the next episode of Battleground.